everybody, congratulations for entering the London Marathon. You're probably thinking at this stage, what have I done? But honestly, please don't be phased by it. My name is Tracy Morris. I too entered the London Marathon in 2004 for the first time and did think it was an extremely daunting task. Personally, if I was going to advise anybody and my advice to you would be Please just take each week as it comes. Do not perhaps look at the bigger picture. Just break down your weeks day by day. Do not think you have to cram everything in in the first few weeks. My advice on weekly training would be to try and get three key sessions in. Your first session would be perhaps a long run with some friends. Perhaps do this on a weekend. Just go out and really enjoy yourself. This should be at a pace where perhaps you can just chat and really just take in the scenery and have some fun. The second session I would be concerned about would be perhaps an interval session. And what I mean by that is perhaps doing some a, f a few intervals at a slightly faster pace than you do your long run. One of our interval training sessions was a session where you do eight times three minutes running and have perhaps two minutes recovery in between. The third session would be perhaps a little bit slower than that session but just going for a slightly longer run anything up to about a 5k but li a little bit quicker than your Sunday long run. Anything in between just go out and enjoy. But if you can get those three key sessions in, that would be very, very useful and certainly develop your training programme to get you faster at the London Marathon. And finally, it is quite important that you wear the right clothing for your training. The most crucial part really is your running shoes. Just make sure they fit you properly and they're comfortable. Perhaps you could go to a running shop to try some on where they can test for your gait, put you on a running machine and see your style. And then, then they may be able to advise you on the best type of trainer for you. They needn't be the most expensive, but what suits your running style. As for the rest of your clothing, just make sure you're warm and nothing rubs and make sure perhaps at the end of your training run you've got some extra clothing you can put on if you've got wet or just feel a little bit uncomfortable. Well, good luck in starting your training programme. Don't panic, just enjoy it. I'll speak to you again in three weeks time. You can post questions on the BCRT London Marathon Facebook page. Um, please post any questions and I'll try and answer as best I can.